We have a new type of conversation. We just create a space where national politicians, often used to fighting each other and pushing their ideas, actually have a space to listen to others. We recreate in the Mercator European dialogue a microcosm of the various differences uh, that we that we have within the European Union. A couple of words just expressing that. Have you ever seen an article, a comment, not by one MP in a newspaper, but by two MPs from two different countries? The MPs at this table are discussing whether or not they write together a manifesto to stop the EU plane game. So you get to learn something about what and why others are thinking. We have to deal with the roots of the problem. It's informal, informal and, and, yeah. and I think that's key. Uh, because we, we are used to go to formal meetings uh, with uh, restrictive um, rules. So we pick a cup of coffee, start yeah. talking. It, it allows uh, us, you know, to, uh, to free up uh, the mind and to be more free in generating uh, ideas, in speaking what you really think, uh, no political correctness or whatever. And we all know that it's only uh, big global players like Russia, USA, European Union. You only have 24 hours, but within these 24 hours you can have so many um, dialogues, new ideas. We've got people from a strongly uh, right conservative tradition and those from a grassroots and a, and a left perspective. I think you should show up for this dialogue, even if you are a Eurosceptic, um, even if you don't really believe in all that European Union framework, uh, you might want to join a conversation so that you are also part of the table when the future of Europe is being decided. It doesn't matter so much what uh, political family we are from. Uh, there are actually quite a lot of uh, universal values that we share. We are ju just making uh, new contacts and creating a kind of network, network uh, among the members of parliament, which is very useful. It's not only getting information, it's about exchanging information in smaller groups, which makes you really think and have a meaningful discussion. Uh, it was over a million. Uh, refugees in Germany last year. Europe is not something done to us. It's not something done for us even. No, it's something done by us. And national parliamentarians have a great role to play in this.